Well, let's cross now to Hong Kong and speak to Legislative Council member Claudia Mo. Hi, Claudia. Thanks so much for talking to us. First of all, do you think uh, the student union invited to meet with Carrie Lam was right to say no, to reject her invitation? Well, I think uh, the students' response was perfectly understandable because uh, it boils down to the young's uh, complete uh, lack of trust or confidence in Carrie Lam and her government. And uh, uh, they're worried that uh, they could be used as a pawn for Carrie Lam to claim that, oh, I've had uh, a constructive meeting with the young and uh, I've done my part and so uh, now it's uh, all back to normal uh, in Hong Kong it's business as usual the students uh, surely wouldn't want that they want some actual uh, response to their demands to Hong Kong people's demands including uh, uh, Kerry Lam's uh, stepping down I mean they, you say they, they fear this going back to normal. And if we recall the similar scenes we saw in the Umbrella Movement, which also brought tens of thousands of pro-democracy demonstrators to the, to the streets of Hong Kong, I mean, the world's eyes were on them before it just fizzled out with really no concessions from Beijing. Might we see the same outcome here? I mean, where do you see this going? Uh, that well, it's very difficult to tell still, but then uh, at the end of the umbrella movement, uh, many of our young, I suppose, were uh, fairly disheartened. And they thought, um, as you were saying, uh, not, nothing much came out of it. And meantime, uh, the Hong Kong government tried very hard to use judicial means to uh, scare them away. Uh, say, uh, one of uh, our top uh, young activists uh, was sentenced to uh, six years rioting and uh, that did put off uh, some young people but then this time uh, this uh, very controversial extradition bill uh, served as a trigger point the young suddenly uh, uh, woke up again it, it's got this reawakening effect uh, seriously and uh, they realized that uh, if they don't fight they could face the biggest political sellout of Hong Kong you call it a political sellout of Hong Kong. So tell me what you want to see from pro-establishment legislators that you work with and from Beijing to help make it a fair uh, enough system for everyone to be satisfied. Uh, it's a very long story, of course, but then to cut it short, uh, we want to have a, a, a very... Uh, a, a, a proper announcement of uh, the complete scrapping of this uh, extradition bill or law. And uh, we want uh, the, uh, a proper independent investigation be uh, set up uh, to look into police brutality, the footage you are now watching. And uh, uh, we also want uh, the, uh, to see uh, Carrie Lam uh, uh, stepping down because uh, she's just not fit to be this city's leader, but then she couldn't go without the Beijing's endorsement. So it goes back to our democracy fight that we must have one man, one vote for uh, uh, electing and not selecting uh, the chief executive of Hong Kong. Right. As previously, uh, Beijing tried to, uh, to say that uh, they would and have the final say over who can run in such a, an election. And that's that. Now you've 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 just said when I asked what you wanted, it's so interesting because you said simply, you know, Carrie Lam should step down, scrap the extradition bill. But you know, it's not just about that. Those are the short-term steps. You're talking about a much bigger issue here, and that is China's rule <laughs> in Hong Kong. This is something that's it's not going to go away, and I don't see where you can really find a fair solution. Now, Hong Kong has been promised one country, two systems, and we are different. And we're supposed to enjoy a, a autonomy, a high degree of, we're supposed to look after our own affairs, including uh, our right to uh, elect our city head. And uh, nothing is happening. And uh, to the young, ever since 1997, when Hong Kong was handed over back to China, uh, there's not really one uh, the country to system. There's one country and 1.1 1 .1 
systems only. The young feel being cheated here, and I don't blame them. Okay, Claudia Mo, we're going to have to leave it there. I'd like to thank you so much uh, for, for sharing your time with us from Hong Kong. Thank you.